Hey Rev, what's up? Yeah, definitely uh, interesting topics we're dealing with these days. I thought I heard about that lovely gentleman that you mentioned in here. Let me get some of my own damn introductions on this one. I always have to have a header and time stuff. So the time index right now is 1.22 p.m. West Coast time. It's still the 27th of March, 2024. This is the Diary of the Griever named John Weaver, which would be me out in Robesomon, California. Okay, enough of that extended stuff here. It was needed. The sermon was needed. Well, I sure wasn't about to do something disgusting in line. I was I? It's not much anyway. Yeah, triggers have been hit. Emotional triggers, certain things have happened, and boom. I was uh, going through the emotional tsunami again. Politics doesn't do that to me. About people and death and anything regarding that, yeah. It's still a, an effect on me. I still talk to my therapist about that. Now, should we get into something more nauseating than taking the pink stuff of pepto -Bismol to deal with Trump? I know there's a lot of strong language I use also in my, in my videos. Sometimes I make apologies and other times I don't. I figure if I am what I am right now and still work in progress and then I'm still a work in progress at this point over here but I I still need to be reined in from time to time they do got a mouth on me and if it puts me on their particular level at this point okay so be it sometimes you have to have, be a street brawler to be a street brawler but you gotta be your quote unquote righteous or not <laughs> Christ and Gandhi would have it where we wouldn't use the sword from time to time, but if that's the truth, then why do we got angels with swords ready to use it when they have to deal with it, with the demons and stuff? And the battlegrounds probably messy enough upstairs in their own dimension, but out here we just got enough. None of us likes using it. None of us wants to use it. We use it as a show of force, but if it has to be used, unfortunately, it sucks, and I still have to keep remembering. Thou shall not kill. Uh, you should have said about thou shall not hurt, maim, destroy, desecrate, dismember, disembowel. You catch the drift on that one. Viscerate the person. No, you just put in the commandments thou shall not kill. Okay, fine. We'll just maim, hurt bloody-eyed, make him a cripple. There's no laughter in this situation. There's never have been. <laughs> I was a long kid. I was a bit of a scrapper. I didn't look for fights. But I had to survive the fights. <laughs> Kids got to fight on the street to protect himself one way or another. Or find a way to run her away. I figure God's, or actually Christ, would be the one just standing there, just getting all the damn whipping, just like what I would see in the movie Gandhi. Ben Kingsley, in it. Had the Indians <laughs> fought without fighting. You get their independence and then try to kill each other afterwards. But this one guy, I thought I heard about this one a long time ago. Just not the name. But I heard about this one that other people have been talking about. As I said before, there is a website out there. I did it on his, you know, I did a Google search and I found that guy, Waltz. Um, well, now. Sorry. Yeah, it's called allergies and I'm still dealing with the uh, after effects of the tsunami. And I saw some of the stuff, but the video had been taken out because 
according to what the screen says the video is no longer available because the YouTube account associated with this video has been terminated they pulled his butt off but he's got text he's got text over it so what are the seven mountains that they were talking about oh let's see there was another site about it <laughs> related to the schmuck it's a Yiddish term. It means horse's ass. I can use that terminology. So that's part of my nature. is probably Yiddish anyway. Or Jewish. I don't even realize. Long story on that one. You ever been a... You ever heard of the... Oh, good Lord. I'm going to have to embarrass myself on that one. A love child. Six Easter, I know. Off the coast to Catalina. My mother told me the story. Mine was hit and run. Ma got stuck with me, and he's been in the wind ever since. I think maybe it was his job just to get Ma pregnant and have me, and that was it. He was gone. Nothing else to matter about that one. Excuse me one second here. I still hate it when my nose still starts doing that stuff. But anyway, the uh, seven aggravating things that even Pepto-Bismol won't work, and I'm not quite sure if uh, whole milk would do it for it. But they're talking about education, religion, family, business, government, military, all in one category, arts and entertainment, and media. And what's so biblical about all of this stuff? Excuse me one second. Adjusting a seat cushion. Okay, well, if I'm going to be talking with the regular people I do on my own channel at the same time, and also to a few other people, I'll probably be tagging up on my video anyway, in the description here. Uh, I'll be telling them, look, guys, this is what's been forced down our throats by the different guys left and right, the independent guy, uh, independent operators on the uh, YouTube channels and our own stations are talking about this kind of stuff because we're pulling up the, the lunatics out there. Corporate media ain't going to touch them with anything. <laughs> They're not going to touch them. But these lunatics, we do talk about on the independence because it's the only place we can talk about it. Now, there are terms and conditions that the uh, platforms have to put up. Government regulations. <laughs> it's corporate at this point, so we have to deal with the, what the corporate says. We can only get limited amount of uh, freedom of speech. Before, that's it, we get canceled. Or, warned off a great deal. So let's just say we have the monsters out there who want to influence people left and right. They've already been influencing a hell of a long while. What the hell are we worried about? Give me a break. They worry about education. Well, we got people trying to be ignorant, arrogant, indifferent. We really want people to be dumb. We also want it to be stupid. There's a difference. <laughs> or is there? Especially when you're dealing with mentalities and the, un the unwillingness to learn. So I guess we're all linked in with one. So deprive the people of education. What are you, depri what are you uh, giving them? Nothing. They're going to know nothing in a the world. Therefore be totally dependent upon everybody else and be easily manipulated and they'll be turning out to be followers. Then they put it into the comment screen. I'll probably put it back in there, but I'm going to say it one more time. Reverend and uh, Daryl P., who's artist in recovery, not to mention Bo, the fifth column, Jesse Dollarmore, Farron, there's another guy being dealt with, let's see, the minority. Uh, there's the... Uh, uh, the Young Turks watch list, majority report, minority, no, Rebel HQ, there's a slew of them out there, dude, there's a slew of them out there, and these are the guys I deal with on a constant basis, the zeros and one algorithms of both Google and YouTube have got me locked into the thing, not to mention Facebook, if I wanted to get out of the thing, I'm not going to get out of it, kicking and screaming, that's for darn sure. Ring of Fire! I think that's Farron. Out there, TNT investigates. Yes, I know about that one there, too. 
And what else we got for the insanity here? Warm snow. Ah, Waldorf Nation. It's barely getting into this gentleman here. Uh, let's see, there's the bow. Majority report. I said these guys are ready. Rebel HQ. Where was the other one? Damage report. Ah, that's it. Damage report. So if I happen to look at the new stuff today, some of it's being repeated left and right, but, you know, some of the politicians are afraid of other politicians trying to leak off and leech off of each other, other supports and stuff like that. Or, as you probably already said it before in your previous videos, <clears throat> i got to get into this characterization here. Hello! It's nice to know you. And your name is... Oh, it is. Oh, well, let's say. Welcome to my church. Uh, uh, church of Samuel G. Moonshine. Uh, G standing for great here. <laughs> and we worship the almighty dollar. Isn't it grand? Isn't it nice? Jump, 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 jump. I will show you. I must show you. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Hear that? <laughs> Isn't that lovely? Isn't that grandiose? Uh, and everybody other stuff I got back there. But this, this I tell you, has more meaning than anything else in life. <laughs> Me being a politician at this point, I have been trying to use this as influence on people left and right. <laughs> Only because I love the money more than I love Jesus. I mean, Jesus is a nice guy. Don't get me wrong. But unfortunately for this little dick at this point over here, hmm, he wants charity. He wants me to give this away. He does. But I am the Reverend Sam G. Green Bullshine. It is all about the money. It is all about the jump change. It is all about everything. Don't you understand? Ew. You're sneering at me. What are you, one of those goody goody two shoes that deals with Bibles? Ah! The only Bible is. The jump change? And also, bills and dollars. I must have more. I must have more. Don't you understand? I'm as pilfer, pillage, and plunder from people. I am a reverend. Don't you understand? I have been ordained by God. Besides, I don't think God would mind if I happen to make a bit of a fortune for myself. Hmm? After all, I go on the television a lot. And I'm in the people's homes a lot. I'm constantly telling them that they must uh, donate to the, my church. Silly people, this goes into my pocketbook. Don't you understand that? I'm entitled to grant for Congress, you know that. I'm a congressional leader here. Yes, I support my own party. It's the money of greed. It's the money of power. It's the money of... Uh, it's the party of money. Money, 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 money. And I influence a lot of people with my uh, <clears throat> chump change. It's the illusion of the chump change. Oh, isn't that nice, lovely, and uh, metallic smelling? Care for a snort? <laughs> uh, I'm dealing with a hard audience here. Oh, do you folks understand what you're dealing with? You're dealing with a sane man here who's hell-bent on converting the masses into believing that capitalism and money is all in the same. God may exist one way or another, and Jesus is a formality in a book. But the only thing that reminds me is power and money, and basically money matter more than anything else. So I'm out here to influence the voters because I want more power and more money. Don't you understand that? They will sing and scream my name. I will be above everybody else because... Mammon is king, and Christ isn't. Emma, I proclaim this video ended as it is. Ta-ta. <laughs> Let's face it, doing characterizations like that always leaves me squirrely. Holy crap. I mean... 
yeah, it, it takes a lot out of me, especially when I'm starting to go, like I have to go against this and I have to go against that, and now i got to pray for forgiveness a great deal more than usual at this point. God would know the intentions of my heart and my head and knows the thoughts better. It still freaks me out when I start doing that kind of thing. Because I'm not part of that where it comes from. Christ had warned us in the Bible, in the New Testament, and I think somewhere in the Sermon on the Mount is concerning about mammon and money, but also about two servants at this point over here. Not to mention, also mentioned about Caesar, if I'm not mistaken. So we're talking about Caesar and we're talking about Christ. And right now we're dealing with a hell of a lot of Caesars out there who think they're better than everybody else. It's no wonder some of the religious leaders are losing their flock left and right, or even some of them are, are converting to follow the masses, to follow the power, to follow the money, to follow something that isn't what should have been in the nature in the first place. Granted, they may be making a hell of a mistake at this point over here, but if they're seeing and realizing and they're choosing otherwise, oh boy, it's Peter at the gate is going to have issues on this one. I know I've set up a full of an idiot a lot of times in my videos, and so not to mention in the chat rooms. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I'm a fool of an idiot. But sometimes I may not be a fool of an idiot. I may act the part, but... It still scares me, because sometimes I have to look at the kernel of the truth. At one time, yeah, I did have an ego... Ma well, I still got the ego massive. It's just being sub subverted, hidden, and definitely not given its due. Once in a while, it does pop up. I'll feel it. I'll know it. Then I have to keep asking myself, am I really truly meaning this damn stuff or am I not? It scares the living daylights out of me. But I see it on a constant basis in everybody. I see it on a constant, constant thing in our lives, in our videos, in our streaming, in person. And I'm hearing all the the hoopla. I'm hearing all the double talk. Talking out of the side of the mouth again, so to speak. I guess someone trying to put up this fear mongering, telling me that I have to fear about this because of what they say. My experience? No. All I hear is the political malarkey at this point over here. If there isn't a genuine, credible threat, and if it's already been dealt with, why am I panicking? Because there might be. There might, there might, there might. Always the argument. And that's what we keep coming across, isn't it? All the other names have been mentioned that the independent theaters are making fun of left and right, including the one name I'm just not going to give any more credence to. But the message? Shall we go back into that little situation then, boys and girls? Okay. I said before, education, religion, family, bu family, business, government slash military, arts and entertainment, and media. Once you got control of those, then you think you've got the world. Do you? Do you really have it? Does that mean you're going to be affecting everybody else? Of course, you affect your education and then religion. You go after someone else's faith. Well, how strong is a person's faith got to be anyway? Christ made it uh, made it known, and even if it's tiny as a grain of mustard seed, it could still flourish. Granted, on a quantum size or a quantum nature, that's a very large item, or a very tiny item. Perspective. Christ put up the uh, mustard seed because it is a very tiny, teeny, tiny item. But it still produces plants. It still produces life. It produces product. It produces something that we use one way or another. You're going to be attacking a person's religion? Oh. I keep throwing this out to everybody. It doesn't matter who I deal with. I'm dealing with everybody on here. I keep mentioning it. History, history, history. 
We forget history. We don't want to deal with history. We don't, we don't want to know history. We want to be totally ignorant and arrogant and indifferent to it. Because unfortunately, it keeps repeating itself left and right. We see the cycle of life going on on a constant basis. We see the, re we see the constant recombinations, but it's still being recycled. But to think recycling means it's the same item all over and all over again. That's what they're calling for recycling. No, not necessarily. It's being reprocessed. The universe does the same thing. Why not the spiritual realm as well? But we're also in a constant war, a, a spiritual war. Our faith, our trust in something beyond ourselves. The atheists are still having problems with us because of the organized religions that are going nuts. And they say, we don't believe in God because God's not keeping him in control. Maybe. Or maybe they just had not seen some of the parties are picking a side yet. They want to stay on the sidelines? Okay, fine. But when it's their time to deal with the afterlife, that's on them, not on me. So I don't have to be worried about that. Am I going to have to be worried about an atheist not worrying about God? When he's not convinced that God is existing? What they need is an experience that would actually shake the crap out of them. And then they'll understand. But the problem is, is it my job? I mean, I can throw them all the book knowledge I can. But it's going to be up to their willingness and open-mindedness. And then there's the God shock. There's the God shock. Comes out of nowhere. Bam! They'll try to apply logic to it. That's fine. They say the devil's in the details, but God loves the glory of it. He loves the glorious pan panoramic view. Sometimes he likes doing the finite. Or allowing somebody else to do the finite in order for people to enjoy the larger view of it. You ever taken pictures or a painting? Uh, a painting of a sunrise or sunset? In the desert? I'm asking all you guys out there. On some occasions, when I'm outside, there's enough cloud cover. I'm lucky, not for the for the upper floaty uh, stuff. I'm talking about cloudy, chunky, lower level. We're talking about 10,000 or less. I'm talking about almost getting rain level here. And then sometimes you get the clouds moving in and covering the sun a little bit. And then you see the rays coming out of it. Or if they're on a horizon and I'm seeing the sunrise coming up. Sometimes I will see the, the rays coming out of it. It's like grab the camera, click, 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 click. You're talking about religion? you talk about understanding something of, of grace, of beauty, of power? Of something simple and grandiose? You're talking about something that put a smile on a person's face for a hell of a long while when you see this. Because other people think I'm crazy because they're scratching their heads as I'm doing the same thing. I'm trying to keep people out of the nature of shots. I don't want them. I want the shot. I want to know what I'm looking at here. I want to see inspiration, damn it. That's what I want to look at. But the problem is, I need to get more of it than that. Not just the cloud pictures. I want to talk about people and inspiration as they're looking at something like... That would be the shot right there. Just... Looking at something like that in confusion. That would be the beauty shot right there. Okay, going down a list, boys and girls. Uh, next one is... Oh, my God. Uh, family, i got to move on on that one. There's a reason for that one, okay? There's... The other one is business. Well, yeah, if you have... Devil in the details concerning about businesses, corporate ruin, running things left and right, wanting money, power, control, basically running the egos like crazy. That's all it is. It's ego control. Control the wealth, control the power, control the say. They got the ego in, in control. And what's ego usually mean in the 12-step programs? Edging God out. Government, military, that's self-explanatory right there. You got a politician with sufficient enough power in there who's charmed and, and wined and dined and basically lied his ass off to people left and right. Or her or herself to people left and right. Did things that they weren't supposed to or morally 
questionable to get into the position they are for control and power. And now they got it. Now I control everything. Because now I can run the streets my way. Is that control nature too? Or are you going to destroy that one as well? Suck up all the resources we can. Put the planet into an ecological issue. And then what do we do after that? What? Because I don't have the answer for that one. Do you have the answer for that one? I don't. Coastline's going to erode. Atmosphere is going to get more polluted. Plants die off. Animals die off. What do we do? Fight each other for resources at this point. For a drink of water. Let alone oil to run the vehicles. Mad Max time. Of course, we, got, we have the countries out there doing that right now. They're doing the Mad Maxes left and right. We have governments fighting each other, lying to each other uh, in UN and security councils and stuff like that. Oh, we're going to do this and then... Oh, I'm sorry. I got a, I got a dagger for Caesar right now. I'm Brutus. We all know what the hell happened after that. Fadoink, 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 fadoink. And to everybody. You have arts and entertainment, then you have media. They're combined. Media, they've probably been news media at this point over here, or any other kind of form of media, but arts and entertainment, that's also part of media. We have the electronic, we have the books. We have hard copy, we have zeros and ones. We have communications left and right. Control the media and you think you control the world because you control everyone else's public opinion. Well, the problem is people can also talk. Unless, of course, you're going to be stifling their mouths left and right. You're going to have every other kind of control freak inside everyone's home or saddled up with them all the time. You're going to be doing a thought police situation like they would have in the, in the um, book of 1984 by Orwell. Are we going to have somebody monitoring our thoughts, our brain waves? They're going to be listening to all electronics left and right? Well, shh, we already got that going on right now, don't we? We're already putting up our own stuff out there in media right now. Corporate media and otherwise. People saying that media are, are fake or manufacturing stuff. Well, now we got AI to do that stuff for us, so that's really going to be screwed up. So unless you've already been at the event, you don't know if it's real or not. Could have been generated by AI. So that's one thing we got to worry about. But you had noticed I didn't say anything concerning about family. I wish I could play this particular tune going through my head right now. It is the th opening theme to CBS's Mystery Theater. When you heard him on the ra at CBS Radio Network. Um, E.G. Marshall would do the narration on this. I could do it, but I get a copyright sanction on it unless I've already posted it in my chat and my descriptions on this one. But I always love that opening here because it would, this this is family right now. Oh, you think it will be? Let me do this one here. I mean, I'd be asking for it. I mean, I'd really be asking for it. I mean, so much I'd be in for it. What the hell? I got temptation going on right now. Uh, Radio Mystery Theater. I need the theme to it. E.G. Marshall. I'm going to be in for this one. I got to get this one on tip. But for the Facebook and YouTube and Google, this is coming from uh, CBS Radio Mystery Theater. I am getting a little section of it from The Great Brain, hosted by E.G. Marshall. I'm just getting the opening theme on this one, if I can. And no, that wasn't it. I 
That's not the thing. No, that's not it. Oh, man, I hate those things. I need to get back. Well, for me, it is important. I mean, hell, I start playing this thing, it's supposed to be... Eh, hold on, I'm going to try it again. This is a long ass video and I do apologize for this. And normally I do a two parter. So I am going to end this one and do another long one.